All right, so quick video. <laughs> um, I haven't been doing my F1 YouTube videos with school being so busy, um, but tomorrow is the uh, last race of the season. Um, the championship for the driver still hasn't been decided. Uh, Red Bull snagged the uh, Constructors' Championship, um, but the big one, as far as prestige, I would really say, um, is up for grabs tomorrow. Uh, Fernando Alonso from Ferrari has the edge by eight points going in. Um, and the way they qualified, uh, Sebastian Vettel was first, uh, Lewis Hamilton was third, Alonso was second. Um, Alonso was third, Weber was fourth, no, Button was fourth, Weber was fifth, I think. Um, anyways, if they finish like that tomorrow, Alonso wins. Um, but this season has been pretty crazy, um, and all Alonso needs is um, somebody getting a little bit deep into the first corner, or a wheel nut that goes on incorrectly, um, a puncture, a blown engine. I mean, there are so many, you know, this time last year when Jensen, you know, officially locked up the championship in Brazil, I mean, there was no real, um, you know, it was over. There was no, it was like, if Jensen doesn't clinch it here, then he'll win it then he, you know, can wrap it up in Abu Dhabi, but this is it. Um, and mathematically, I think there are still f four people in the race. I wonder if Jensen... I, I think Jensen's mathematically out. Um, but mathematically, um, you know, like if the first... If the top three were to fall off, um, you know, it's... So it's anybody's game going into tomorrow. Um, it should be super interesting. I mean, this is what great championships are made of, um, and I was listening to some, some of the, you know, commentators, and they were saying that they are, you know, not sure they can remember a better season, and of the three seasons that I've been hooked on, this has by far been the most exciting, um, you know, the power has shifted within, you know, the championship so many times that, you know, at, at one stage, it was clearly going one way. And, and if you had told, like I said before, if you said at the beginning of the season, after the first two or three races, that um, Ferrari was going to have a driver who was going to be fighting for the championship, I would have told you to fuck off because they were that far off the pace. It was just, it was disastrous. Um, and they have, they have managed to pull it together. Um, but I would not be surprised. There will be surprises tomorrow. Um, Brazil, I think, was a pretty, you know, the most important, the most exciting part of Brazil was the qualifying, Nico Hulkenberg getting on pole, it was, it was almost earth shattering for Formula One fans, um, but the race was kind of dull, I mean, it was, a, it was still a fun race, but there wasn't anything exciting, I see this, I mean, this is it, this is the championship, nobody is going to be leaving anything on that track, um, it's put up or shut up time for each of those drivers. Um, so they're going to be fighting and there's going to, there will be accidents. There will probably be blown engines and punctures. Um, it's, it's just a matter of who does it happen to, who gets caught in the aftermath. Um, and what does that do for the people in the top five positions? But I look forward to it should be a blast. Um, and then, yeah, that'll be the last race until, the uh, season opener next year in March. Um, I think Silverstone's the first track we go to in 2011. Um, so, should be exciting. Um, F-Duct is going to be banned. As far as I know, we're still no refueling. Uh, Pirelli's going to be the new tire manufacturer. Um, race in India. is I think our first year in India is next year. Um, so, yeah should be exciting. But anyways, just wanted to give you guys a little update going into the race tomorrow morning. Actually, the race starts in like six hours. Um, so yeah, enjoy. Talk to you guys later.